Hi and welcome students. In today's Microsoft Word 2019 tutorial, I'm going to show you how to format the page background. Let's get started. So you'll see that I have a blank Word document open and you can follow along with me if you'd like. First off, I wanted to go over how to change the background color of the page. And so you could find that in your design tab. If you go to the design tab, on the page background group towards the right side, you're going to see page color. Add a splash of color to your document by changing the color of your page. So I could click right here and this will change the page color from white to a different color. All right, so you could choose whichever color you want here. I'll just choose this light blue one and I click that. And there we go, that looks good. And so the next thing I'm going to show you is how to display a gradient. And a gradient is a page background color that changes from one color to another color. So it's still in the page background group here. Let's go to page color and go to fill effects down here at the bottom. When you click fill effects, it's going to open up the fill effects dialog box. This contains four tabs for your background and we're gonna go over all four of these in today's tutorial. The first one we're gonna look at here is gradient. And on gradient, you can choose from one color, which is what we have right now. You could choose two colors right here. And that's what we're going to use for this example. All right, so I'm gonna go right here and I'm gonna choose two colors and I have a blue color right here. And let's say I choose this light orange color right there. All right, so next up, you're going to see that the sample down here looks like this. And so this is how your page will eventually look. And you could even choose the shading styles right here on how you want um, the style to look. You could click on these to see how it'll look across um, you know, the different variants. And I'm going to choose the one that says from center down here at the bottom. And then you'll see the two variants and you can choose between those, whichever one you like. I'm gonna click okay and you'll see how this looks. There we go. I don't think this looks very good. I don't think these uh, gradient fills ever look very good so I really don't recommend them. But it's important that you at least know that they do exist. Let's go back to fill effects under page color and go to the, again, design tab page background group, page color, and go to fill effects. And let's go on to the next one, which is texture. All right, so the texture one is right here. Now these ones are, some of these are oddly specific, like fish fossil. I'm not sure when you would use that unless you're talking about fish fossils, but they have a lot, a lot of different choices here, or at least a decent amount. Um, and so I'm gonna choose this one up at the top right, which is called woven mat. And I'll click okay to see how that'll look. And you'll see it looks like exactly that woven mat. Now keep in mind, this one has a lot of uh, dark areas on the woven mat as well as some light areas. So using text boxes and things of that nature so that you could actually read your text would be very important if you were to use this for um, you know, a flyer or a brochure or something like that. All right, so let's check out the next one. Design tab, page background group, page color arrow, and go down here to fill effects once more. When you go in here, you'll also see patterns are available and you can choose from different patterns. They have a lot of different types in here. Um, as you click them, you'll see that the um, pa pattern name is listed down below. And I'm gonna choose this one here, horizontal stripes light. And I'll choose a couple of colors that I like. Again, I'll go with the blue and the orange, the two light colors here. Again, if you're using light colors like this, dark text will show up better. If you use dark colors, then you'll need lighter text to show up. So for example, I could still read what I'm typing there. So again, if you're going to change your backgrounds, you, the colors of the backgrounds are very important. Um, again, light background, dark text, dark background, light text. Let's go here to page color once more. And let's go to fill effects once again. And let's go into this last tab here, which is your picture. You could set up a picture as the background as well. Now this can come with you know, varying degrees of success, but I'm gonna choose a picture that I already have on my computer. So I click picture right down here, and then I choose from a file. And I've saved a file right here of clouds. There it is. And I click okay and there's the picture of my clouds. Now again, keep in mind, there's some very bright spots right here in the clouds, as well as some very dark spots in the clouds. So again, I would have to utilize text boxes so that I would be able to um, see the text within or on this background. 
Next, I want to show you how to remove a page background. To remove a page background, we go to Design tab, Page Background Group, Page Color, and you go right down here and you choose No Color. When you choose No Color, it'll revert back to the default white background, the color of paper. Looks good. The last thing I wanted to show you here under the page background group is page borders. Page borders are um, allow you to uh, do exactly that, add or change the border around a page. It draws focus and a stylish touch to your document. So let's go here to page borders. And under page borders, I like to go through each of these starting with the left side. The first one here is the setting and you can use none, which is what it currently is box, which will add a box around it, shadow, which adds a not only a box, but a little bit of a shadow on the bottom and right side, which make it look a little bit more three dimensional. You have 3D, which makes it look like a 3D picture frame, and then custom where you can completely customize it yourself. I'm going to choose shadow for our example today. By default, it uses right here, which is just a single line, but you could also choose a dotted line variations of dotted lines and I'm going to scroll down a little and I'm going to choose this one here which is a double um, line two lines and then below that you could choose the color and I'm going to hit the color which automatically is black but I'm going to choose from our standard colors down here and I'm going to choose dark blue I click on dark blue which will apply that dark blue border it'll give you a preview right here of what it'll look like but we won't know what it will truly look like until we click ok but before we click ok let's look at the width which is currently one half point if you wanted uh, the border to be thinner you would go towards the top and thicker would be towards the bottom i'm going to leave it at one half point i just wanted you to see what that would look like and then we click ok after you click OK, you'll see that the shadow border was applied. Again, a three-dimensional look because of the bottom and right side borders. And then you'll see the double line going all the way across. I'll zoom in so you can get a little bit of a closer look at this. But there it is. Looks border looks good, and it adds a border to our page and a little bit of focus on um, what's going on on the content of the page. So um, in today's tutorial, we went over how to format a page background with a texture fill, color fill, pattern fill, gradient fill, and picture fill. Don't know if I said picture twice, but anyway, that's what we went over. Uh, we also went over page borders. So if you found today's video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. If you have any questions, please put it in the comment box below and I'll do my best to respond to you. If you want to learn more about Microsoft Word or Microsoft Office 365, please check out the playlist on my uh, YouTube channel page. For more, I have organized the videos from beginners all the way through advanced levels, so that should help you out too. Thanks again for watching and have a great rest of your day.